In this video, I'm actually going to do a picture box now with adding a little more control to it. I'm going to add some uh, buttons that are going to tell SiteGrinder that I want to either go to the next image or go to the previous image. And so I've added uh, two buttons here with actually um, some hover over effects so that when you mouse over it, I want the bottom of this to actually curl up a little bit. You can design it however you want to. I'm just going to show you how I've uh, done it here. So. Uh, all I've done in this one is just add some buttons and so let's go out to uh, Site Grinder now and let's take a look and see what this looks like online. Here's what it looks like online and we're running into one, of, uh, one quick problem here that you can see that I'm getting kind of this granulated uh, look over my buttons and um, we can quickly solve that by going back here to our uh, compression menu and I'm gonna find not only these buttons I need to change those to a PNG 24 because we know that PNG 24s are transparent so I just need to change that here and that should do the trick so I'm gonna now build and deploy this once again alright once complete I'm gonna click on the index.html and look at that that looks obviously way better and that uh, just by changing that compression on those images we just uh, fix the problem on that so that's one little trick that you uh, can keep in mind when you are uh, designing if you're running into that problem so let's now go to the gallery appearance open that up and this time I'll actually do the uh, site grinder flash just to go through these different options we went through the animated CSS last time and um, everything really looks good so far but now you can see on the transition style I can actually get a uh, lot of different effects this one is a uh, push left effect and that actually looks good I'm gonna change this uh, crossfade time I'm gonna speed it up just a little bit and I do want it to auto play which is how to do it every two seconds And now you can see what happens actually when I do a, uh, a click over or when I click on a forward or previous. I can go back and forth between images and there's one thing that happened there if you notice when I mouse over my image I'm getting this controller box that pops up and that will come naturally by just even doing a, uh, a picture box but I can turn that off by uh, saying just checking the box to show controller and I can just apply that now and you can see that that is now gone so this is actually looking really good so uh, that is how we do a picture box and add a um, forward and previous button to it so join back the uh, next video and we will go through the next gallery options